At the end of the day, the four coaches attend a VIP reception at the Buchanan House, the historic residence of the Naval Academy superintendent, which over the years has hosted many statesmen, including President Franklin Delano Roosevelt. Even the beginning of the Navy, they would cross over from ship to ship with sword to go into battle. Uh, today, it's kind of a symbol of excellence from one warrior to another. So Thad, if you would come up here and enjoy me, uh, Coach Thad Mata from Ohio State, you are the recipient of the first officer sword of this third annual Veterans Day Classic. Bryce, uh, please enjoy this sword. Compliments of the United States Naval Academy and your time here with the Veterans Day Classic. Thanks for being here with us, and good luck with your season. As we have you know, hosted teams like Michigan State and Florida, and now the Ohio State for your opener, I'm expecting you to win. Yeah. <laughs> so Ed, I will. So use this as you need, Ed, and uh, Thanks, thank you, Ed. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you. Each coach is presented with a Naval Academy officer's sword, an honor that is typically only bestowed upon graduates of the Academy. Across campus, the players gather in Memorial Hall, where the names of over 2,600 fallen midshipmen line the walls in recognition of their service and sacrifice. Former Navy SEAL Clint Bruce, who graduated from the Academy in 1997, offers a moving tribute on the meaning of being a team, the value of loyalty, and the importance of serving your country. This place is special to us. If you look immediately to your right on that far wall, you'll see a plaque that says class of 1997. That's my class, the class I graduated with. And you'll see names on that wall that are no longer with us. This is Memorial Hall. This is a hallowed sacred place for us. You know, I looked at team sports and military service as a hero factory. It's what it is. The ink on these names is valor. I love valor. Valor has no color. Valor doesn't care. Valor is measured in how much you love the person next to you and what you want to do for them, irrespective of the differences. It didn't matter who you were, where you were from, what your story was. What the differences were, the thing that mattered most is why you were here and what you were going to do for each other. And it's magic when that happens. And we're blessed by that every day in our sport. We leave tonight, walk around, read these names. For I would tell you that the names on here that I know, and there are too many names here that I know, if I ask them, are you proud of these men? Do you think they're worth it? With what I've learned of you today, to a man, they wouldn't change a thing. They wouldn't change a thing. They would say, yeah, they're worth it. There are hard days ahead, but we're used to that. Because we are athletes and warriors. Be balanced, be curious, be tribal. You know why you're there, share your scars, and you will breathe the rare air of a life worth this. Hold fast, stay true. Thank you, and I'm so proud of you. Thank you.